I'm gonna go back to this simple thing here. When you heal fully, when you confront your dark side, your dark nature, the part of you that is corrupt, when you tackle that, you start to vibrate consciously at a different level. Yep. When you vibrate consciously at a different level, you attract different kinds of people. Don't believe me? Look up the Earth, Wind and Fire record. <laughs> Fantasy, 1974. You read the lyrics. We've, hear, we've heard that record at every goddamn barbecue, every family event. Read those lyrics. Those lyrics are the law of attraction before the law of attraction came out. You will find other kinds that have been in search of you. Many lives come through so you can review. This is fantasy from Earth, Wind & Fire, 1974. This is how relationships work. You attract an ain't shit motherfucker because there's something not shit about you. <laughs> and until you find out, this is why I always challenge the women. I don't want to hear a woman running around talking about I deserve, I deserve. I No, you deserve what you get because what you get is a representative of who you are. Mm. If you ain't done any self-work, what makes you think you deserve Prince Charming? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You the Correct. entire fuck out of here. Can I tell you something? That's some, and I, that's the scariest part for a lot of people to actually face. Like, you know what I mean? Themselves. Oh, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Facing yourself is the hardest part. Is the hardest thing ever. You right. know what I mean? And understanding that fact that yo, because a lot of people don't realize. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you look at your history, why is it that everybody that you've been with has you know what I mean? Basically uh, shown the same traits in some way or another. You mm -hmm. feel me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, or that, you know what I mean? So it's like, yo, what are you doing to attract that person? Attract that. Yes. Well, you mentioned it earlier. We live in a cancel culture. Men are canceling women. Women are canceling men. Why? Because we are not authors of our own self narrative. We are a people who are bereft of knowledge of self. We don't really know who we are. So what do we do? We succeed through success and we think success is the coupon that we can redeem happiness with. Mm. So now what happens is your accumulation of things, material things, fit into or become a part of the mask you wear when you put your best foot forward, when you're performing for a potential relationship mate. And then after you get this person, you try to take the mask off and they go, well, who in the entire hell is this? <laughs> And that's crazy because yes. a lot of people are like, go ahead, Sunshine. Sunshine has something to say. No, I, I'm speaking from, from the women perspective. Sometimes the woman is not aware of herself. And as we grow to learn ourselves, sometimes we see that those men don't fit that, that perspective. As far as you, once you learn yourself as a woman, which I completely agree in roles. Like that's my whole thing is the man is the dominant. I believe in submission as a woman. I believe in respect, but we don't really learn that until later on sometimes. Sometimes we've been through, women have been through some things where we don't know how to respect our men and how to accept where our men have been in order to grow with them versus this is not the man for me because he's still growing as a man. Again, paying too much attention to your partner's personal process. Relationship is a shared experience that you can't fully share with your partner. Mm. We You're together. You but I can't fun. share how I experience, I can't share my experience of you. Right. 
And the best way for me to do that is to use symbols, linguistic symbols called talking. Communication. Work, right? Yes. And how many motherfuckers is really good at communicating? We not. It, that's we my not. point. We're not. Men so and now, women, yeah. <laughs> so watch what you say. Watch this, because words are spells. You said the man is the head. Is the head more important than the neck? Not at all. I don't believe so. The African Ifa tradition says the woman is the neck. The neck gives the head the ability to turn and have directions and perspectives. You, a head is useless without the neck. So now, which is more important? The black side of the yin and yang sign or the white side? Both equal. They're equal. Back in ancient Kemet, yeah, you, it's the balance. A king. you don't have a king without a woman, right? Every king in every dynasty sat on a throne. You look up the hieroglyph for throne, you know whose name comes up? Ooh. The, the, the Europeans called her Isis, but it's Aset. Okay. So every king sat on a set, the woman. She is the foundation of kingship. Now he's the king. Can you, and can you can you uh, <laughs> go into more of a set? Because I'm not sure of that queen. A set was the queen of who is known as Osiris in Greek and Roman mythology. That's what, how they pronounced his name, Osiris. But the African term is Asir or Usir. Asir is, is their rendition of the god of the underworld. And from Isis and Osiris, you get Horus, who is your first solar messiah. In the temple of man at Luxor, there is a hieroglyph on the wall that European researchers called the theogamy scene. Theogamy, theos, God. Gammy, marriage. Marriage to God. They had a, an immaculate conception. Sound familiar? They had an immaculate conception that produced Horus, who became the new solar God after his father died. It does, does it sound familiar? That's Jesus' story. Yeah. 10,004. Yeah, I'm... I'm Go ahead, brother. I'm listening, Sunshine. I'm waiting. She was saying something. We talk about it on this show. We got a lot of stiff necks. You say? He said, Well, we talk about on this show. We got a lot of stiff necks. You stupid. I know. Right. That's what we're talking about, brother. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? It's yo, he's right. I cannot uh, disagree with the brother. He's right. But I'm telling you, her stiff neck is a byproduct of the toxicity of this society. Now, can you transcend it, brother? Can you transcend the toxicity of this society? Or are you playing your own game the way she is? Hmm. 